Alright, hi, and welcome back for the love of food. So, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble a birthday cake. Um, and this is for my significant other who loves candy, anything chocolate, uh, anything sweet basically. So what we started off with was we have a classic white cake that we baked off in two nine inch round sheet pans. And I just put um, parchment paper down at the bottom of my um, cake here and we'll layer our cake right on the center there. Now, the cake. so what we're going to do is we're going to take a serrated knife and, I'm just and then take that off. You can save that for a uh, trifle yeah. or... And what we're going to do is rather than doing frosting in the middle, what I'm going to be using today is pudding. So, I have some pudding in. You can buy the instant pudding. You can make your own pudding. I'm just going to put some on the top here of my cake. Mix it all around. Sometimes I find using... Um, the frosting in the middle of the cake and then using the frosting on the outside of the cake is too sweet. So I like using either a, um, a mousse or a pudding in the middle to kind of break up that sweetness. Now, probably a little bit more. And what I want to do is I want to kind of get it almost overflowing to the sides, but not really because, we're, again, this isn't frosting, so we're not going to be basting the cake. But I just want it to the to the sides as possible without flowing over. Okay. So next what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take some cookies, and it could be Oreos, um, it could be chocolate chips, any cookies that you like, and I'm gonna just hand squish them over the top of the cake almost like a cookie crumble. Now if you wanted the cookie pieces exactly um, even, put them in a Ziploc bag and you know smush it down a little bit. Um, but I kind of want to keep some of these semi whole. I just want the crunch there in the middle and that should do it. Okay. Now all around that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now we need to get our second layer on here. So we're going to take, if you use parchment paper, off the bottom. And then we want to lay it off of the top of this one. And don't make sure it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so we'll go ahead and start that. All right, so we have the cake all frosted. And again, remember, I said it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be basically covered. So now what we're going to try to do is I'm going to try to lift this cake up off the parchment paper. So what I'm going to do is stick in my knife, long, big knife, in all the way straight. I'm going to try to move it right to the plate that I'm going to be serving it on. Okay, so you can see my finger got in there. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna. You're not gonna see it. So now here's the fun part. That's a better height there. So I'm taking about an inch off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer them all along. We actually have some happy birthday ribbon. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring it along the sides measure it a little bit more to see how much it needs to fit. So I'm going to cut it there. And the ribbon is not edible, so you always want to make sure before serving the cake you take that off. So what we're going to do, I'm going to actually just slide this a little and use towards the back. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of frosting that I had Right off the top, I'm going to stick it right on the edge of the ribbon, and that's going to help hold the other side of the ribbon. So that way you're not using tape 
or anything else that's not edible. You always, anything you want to put on a cake, you want to make sure as much as it is edible as possible. So again, I'm just going to refold that up. Get that nice and flat separator. Um, rather than using the ribbon, but this is for an adult birthday cake actually. So we'll know to kind of take that ribbon off. And there you go.